Good morning. Say good morning. Hello. <laughs> right, technically we're going to be having a day off today. That's the plan. For you. But for, you know what I'm like, I'm going to probably film a little bit today. But when we do arrive at our destination, which we're heading, where are we heading? We're going back to the Dingle Peninsula. It's a place called Brandon Head, I think, or Brandon Point. I'm just looking forward to it because it's going to be at the coast and we both have absolutely missed the coast, haven't we? We have. Oh, so looking forward to this. So, although technically it's a day off, I will vlog a little bit today. Right, it's a beautiful day and I'm up for it. You up for it, honey? I'm feeling pretty good, yes. Yes. You're looking well good. I feel like a right wally. I'm not wearing this, Mazzy. I'd rather not go shopping. Well, you have to. No, I'm not wearing this. I've got a bet. I'll, I'll put my other on. Your other one on? Oh, my God. And that's supposed to be better. <laughs> Looks better than that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You go in the shop looking like that. What am going to do? I'm going to get some bread. Yeah, get me some bread. <laughs> He's gone. He's actually gone. Are you happy? Home sweet home. Home sweet home. What a view we've got tonight. Yeah. Check this out. We're going to move the van actually. We're a bit close to this side and up here is a walkway and you can go for a walk over the cliffs and a few people are. But we we're very lucky to get parked to be honest with you. <clears throat> this was the only parking space at the time and if we couldn't have pulled in we'd have struggled to turn around here. So we've managed to get here. I'm going to wait for this car to move and then just move over a bit. But yeah, beautiful views. Oh, it's really nice. We've got a fella over there singing and playing the penny whistle or something. Yeah, isn't someone there? playing the penny whistle. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. And we've just been down here and there's a lovely little view of the rocks down there. We are going to have to go up there and have a look, look over the other side. <laughs> when we're up for it. When we're up for it. <laughs> yeah. But we're, we're just, just going to relax and chill. We're chilling today because it's yeah. my day off. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I filming then? Why am I doing this? Because <laughs> be my... I asked you to, because I don't know the place. What is this place called? Brandon something. I keep forgetting. No, I don't know. It's near Brandon Creek, but it's not Brandon Creek. I'm not sure. There is a wonderful story here, though, which I will tell you in my own words and time. So what you got today? Brown sauce, Mazzy, and some Uncle Pete's. Uh, Pete's. Uncle Pete's. Uncle Texas Pete's. Look, look. Do you, have you seen how empty this is, Neely? <sighs> Not going to ever be able to get that again. No, the Sykes family are going to send us some more. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, welcome. So, I'm all right at the moment. So, today you've got homemade, so I call them burger and mash and peas and onion gravy. What do you call it? I call it two, three hours too long to cook. <laughs> You're cheeky. No, oh gosh, my camera slipped. If yeah. you go into McDonald's and ask for burgers, they'll be ready in two, three minutes. Whenever you make burgers, it takes about two, three hours. You should be lucky and grateful you've got a meal. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> grateful but if that's the case you should have made it at breakfast so it'd be ready for when i'm ready to eat i i do offer how much of that are you putting on oh my goodness well there's hardly any left is there so i might as well use it oh there, it's my gone god you got some good clips oh yes mazzy cool some dolphins it's taken a long time they're really hard to catch because they make a splash and then you go towards the where the splash was and then they've gone underwater and you can't get them again. So you have to project which way they're swimming and get it in yeah. front of them. But I have definitely got quite a few good fins and tails. This is so exciting. It's our first time seeing dolphins in Ireland. They're really playful over there, aren't they? They're having fun. Oh, I just missed him. Oh, it's really difficult, isn't it? Really difficult to film, yeah. I can see it with me eyes.
it's eight o'clock at night. I've come out just to show you the view that we were talking about today. And that's not really all. I'm gonna climb to the top of that now. Shan't take me long, but it is steep. Just gotta show you the um, waves clashing down there. It's just beautiful, I love it. And that's where we've wonderfully parked today. This is the hill I'm talking about. So I do actually have, let me turn around because the sun's in my eye. That's the hill behind me. I do actually have the decent camera with me today. So I'm hoping to get up top and zoom right in. See some special birds. So this is going to kill me, but swear to God, saw probably, I'd say a 90 year old climb this today. He was struggling, bless him, but he did it. He come back down with a smile as well. So if he can do it, I can do it. Oh God, I'm not good. Oh God, I'm not even halfway. Oh. Just taking a breather. God, I'm out of breath. Oh, I'm so unfit. So just to show you, that's where we are. And this fan over there, he's actually been playing music all afternoon. Some Irish sort of music, which has been really, really nice. The one thing I've got against me, is the sun. I'm nearly to the top and I can almost see a building up there. I didn't know anything was up there. So I am basically at the top, just sitting here on this wall. I don't know if you can see. And looking up there, I see this building just here. Let me turn you around. I see this building. But the path then just keeps going on and on and on up to another hill. I'm not definitely going up there. I'm at the top of this one, so I'll call it that. I've had to take my coat off though. Dan said to me, you're mad going out with a coat. But although the sun is out, it did get a little bit nippy, but yeah, he was right. So this is up the top. Gosh, if I did sit here long enough, I'd capture the bestest sunset ever, wouldn't I? Anyway, let's go and have a look at this. I have no idea what this would have been. It's obviously just like breeze blocks, maybe something unfinished. Um, I don't know, let me have a look around the back. Oh no, nothing at the back. Where's the door then? Have I missed the door? Oh, I missed the door. <laughs> smells like a toilet. And by the looks of it too, it looks like a toilet. Yeah, I'm not going nowhere near that. That smells bad. I'm just gonna grab me coat. I think I will take a walk as far as like the gate up there. Um, no one's around, but I better take me coat really, Pet and I. <sighs> right, let's just go up to the gate. I will be a little bit higher. Now I knew there was nothing up here as I was approaching this, but you know, it was like an achievement I achieved for myself just to get to the gate, voila, and it's the same for you. Right, back I go, back I go. Before I go down, just wanted to show you over there really. There's a beach. I think we may be going there tomorrow. I'm not sure where, could be over this way because I have actually zoomed quite in, as you see. Four birds coming over me now. They are making the weirdest noise. Oh, I can't see them in the sun. What is that noise? What sort of birds are they? And if you're wondering why Dan isn't with me, well, all day all he said is, I'm on holiday. <laughs> I said, what, on holiday? Gonna enjoy the holiday, your holiday then inside a box. So that's why I've come out t this evening. I was hoping to catch some um, puffins because there's meant to be some puffins here. And I think the only time in my life I've ever seen puffins is when me and Dan went, it was somewhere up where his mum lives, went to like this sort of bird sanctuary place, not bird sanctuary, but it was like a wildlife thing you pay. And we walked to the cliffs and saw loads of puffins. Yeah, they're, they're gorgeous birds. Right down this big steep hill, it's got to be better than coming up, isn't it? There he is. Where is he? He's outside the box anyway. 
Hey babe. Well at least it's outside the box. I'll tell you what, that's hot in there this evening. Beautiful evening. Shh. What? I'm doing a, a time lapse. Oh, of the sunset. Yeah. Got to be quiet. Don't it's, scare it off. It's a shame. It's hidden behind the cloud at the moment. Well, to be honest, the cloud could make it look even more spectacular. Yeah. But if the cloud gets any worse, it's not going to look good. But it's got to go below that cloud yet, Mazzy. It might take yeah. an hour. <laughs> yeah, it probably will because what's time now? I've no idea. But I don't know, just beautiful colour at the moment. Oh, let's have a look on this camera. Oh, wow, that shows up really well, doesn't it? That's well pretty. Grabbed our coffees and hot chocolates. We're just going to sit down here. Sunset is in eight minutes, so we're going to watch it for real. We don't have to watch the time lapse, honey. <laughs> I'd rather watch the time lapse. <laughs> it's only eight minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's a beautiful day again today. It's lovely. <laughs> We're off but, to Dingle, Mazzy. Yeah. So we just came onto the Dingle Peninsula yesterday. Uh, had a lovely day there, didn't we? Yes, marvellous. We had a wonderful sunset. I did try to record it as a time lapse, but it went a bit wrong. I'll show you a bit of a clip now, but uh, it wasn't perfect. And now uh, we're heading into Dingle, one of our favourite places on the trip. But. I think last time all we did there was a bit of a pub crawl, so this time we're going to look at it with different eyes. <laughs> well, everything was closed last time we were there. Closed? Apart from the pubs. Yeah, it was March, March the 1st. Oh, yeah, yeah, some of the, like, the local shops were, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to be nice. I'm looking forward to this. I am as well, Mazzy. Getting held up by a load of cows. Elephants, Mazzy. Elephants? It's a herd of elephants, dingle elephants. They're a bit rare. They're very slow. It's funny how they know exactly where they're going. Yeah, that's weird. But we've got a loose one here on the right, haven't we? Didn't well, there's he one. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Just arrived in Dingle. The local fair are here. Oh, no. Oh, that excites me. You know what that means, don't you, Mazza? What? Kids. Loads of kids. I'm on holiday and it's going to be full of kids. Oh, don't be like that. They're on holiday too. People are wanting to enjoy themselves. Yeah, but it also means we probably can't get parked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this isn't good. No oh chance. my goodness. <laughs> We've not even got to our bit yet, have we? And already we can see this car park. With no chance. No. Oh We'll be lucky no. to get parked anywhere in Dingle. <sighs> I don't know, eh? I thought they had height barriers on there, but obviously not. I think... Oh, look how packed that is. I wonder if we could. There is spaces in here if we can't get down there. There is. Yeah, so we have got that option. But the four buses are, not No, they're all pitched up. They've been there for the night. I've got a feeling you have to pay like 10, 15 quid a night in there. We'll have to. We're in now, aren't we? <laughs> well, let's try it. No, there's one over there, look, where we wanted to park. But how many is there? I don't know. Yeah. See, this little bit here on the left is where we parked what? last time. Oh, there's loads of spaces. Loads of spaces. On the left. And it's a £5 honesty box. How cool is this? They're That's well good. They've all gone up there. And we've got in here for five quid, which is the, the favourite spot. Yeah, which we wanted to be here, didn't we? Should we go where we went last time on the end here, Dad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. You're a happy man now, aren't you? I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> Apart from all people. Yeah, it was very holiday-ish. What's the word? Touristy today, isn't it? I can't say I'm uh, keen on so many kids being around today, Mazzy, I'll be honest. Kids? You don't take it out on the kids. <laughs> Bless I'm on holiday. All the beautiful birds. We've been sitting there watching those. Took a few snaps. But check this out, look. If we had been only half an hour longer, we would never have gotten this space. 
We're trapped in, but we don't mind, do we, honey? No, because we're not going anywhere. I'm no. on holiday. I think we're going to be here for a couple of days at least, aren't we? Yeah, because I'm on holiday. So a big bit of advice for people coming here in a motorhome or camper van, whatever. Do not go in the main car park. Unless you're here for a couple of hours. It is one euro per hour. Oh, got loads of money. I still think it's quite cheap, is it not? It's very cheap, a euro yeah. an hour. Yeah. But if you're here for the day, which all these are, there's loads of campers here. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven of them, seven or eight. Um, and this is like 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. If they're here for the full day, they're going to spend more than five euros. The one we're at, just at the other side of the car park, yeah. is five euros, an honesty box, all day, and you can stay for the night. You can technically stay for free as well, because the chap has written on the wall, if you can't afford it, enjoy your stay anyway. So yeah. that's really nice. Just to support someone <clears throat> like that is nice. But <laughs> I don't think it's going to be available for long, because I think they're knocking it down and building something oh. there. But yeah, we've loved it there, and yeah. we're going to be there a few days. Right, we're going to go a little bit shopping today. We're hoping for a charity shop. Beer. I've run out of beer. Beer, yeah. <laughs> and a few beers. And I am on holiday still, technically. <laughs> This is funny, just had to quickly show you this. The right way and wrong way to wear a mask. Now who would wear a mask like that? Only Robin. Batman and Robin. It's being manic. So we're on our way back now. Two massive bag shops. Shopping? Let's just get back, yeah. The guy playing the penny whistle. A donkey. It's a bit random, isn't it? Right, finally back. You got your beer! Happy, happy man! <laughs> Are you happy? I'm hot, Mother. Yeah, it's hot. Do you know what? It's a fantastic place if you love touristy stuff, little shops. I love the place. I could live here. Yeah, but it was busy today, wasn't it? <laughs> to it be was honest, a nightmare to just move, wasn't it? It's just made me realise that this whole social distancing and mask things are just a lot of rubbish. It's yeah. impossible to keep your distance. You only have to wear your mask in a shop, but not when you're walking past people on the road. It's just a joke. The whole thing's a joke, and it'll get into me a bit today. Will you enjoy your beer? I'm so just yeah, gonna relax. quickly <laughs> show why we had two bagfuls of shopping. So that's my tea tonight. Breaded chicken, salad, got a box, got some special stuff there. Dan's uh, mouthwash. And this is what Dan's having for tea tonight. Chili nachos. They look so good, but he wants a few of these little squares and he's going to maybe put them into some wraps. That'll be a nice tea tonight, won't it? Yeah, but I quite fancy jacket tea and tuna. Oh! It's tea time. It's tea time. What are you going to have today, Mazzy? Are you going to have, have a, a chilli? Do you fancy no. a chilli? No. no. Jacket potato? Sounds nice, but no. Fish and chips? Oh, no. <laughs> no. What, what, what are you going to have then? Have a guess. Um, oh. <laughs> Chick chicken salad, yeah? Yeah. But today I've got a splodge of um, English mustard, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, so it's like, it's people, she doesn't have chicken salad every day. She, today she's having a special one. It's chicken salad with a blob of mustard. There is a particular reason why I do eat like this as well, so don't be mean to me. Why? What's your reason? My health condition. I have bowel disease. I don't really want to go into that, but yeah. <laughs> I have to watch what I eat. Is this good for you then? A salad? Yeah. Chicken salad? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll yeah. be honest, I did not know that. I How thought, do you not know that? I didn't know you were eating this because it's good for your health condition. If I don't eat this, right, and I eat like pizzas, and especially pastry, I can't eat pastry. Bread does the same to me, or fish and chips and stuff like that. I'll need tablets, and I've got no way of getting my tablets. Absolutely no way. So I have to look after myself while I'm on the road. All right. That's well. why I have to eat healthy. You eat away then. And I enjoy it anyway. It's my favourite meal. I don't think that's healthy though. Why? Big lumps of fried chicken or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They're chicken jacuzons. Oh, posh word. Must be mm. healthy then. I've just been saying that my diet is changing 
I'm going for pasta things at the moment. I find, I had a really bad stomach last week, and I found pasta, cured it, tuna pasta. Mm -hmm. And another thing which really helps mm -hmm. me is stir fries. I love stir fries and I love pasta. So that meal I made you yesterday was good for your tummy, was it not? You didn't complain. I made burger and mash and gravy. Burger and mash and gravy, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, proper... <laughs> proper burger uh, mince and she makes her own burgers with some mash and some onion gravy you lovely can't, you can't have spicy stuff really anymore spicy does not agree with me no, anymore no you should calm down on that sauce <laughs> no i'll still have spicy don't worry but uh yeah i'm gonna start going for pasta stir fry things because it's healthy it's good for you it gives you a lot of energy pasta gives you a lot of energy too much is too is a bad thing, but I don't care. It's what I want. Is that did I say that how you told me to say it? It's a Mexican party, darling. That's what it's called. This is like a week's worth of food. That's an awful lot, isn't it? People keep saying to me, "How do you eat all this food which Mazzy puts in front of you? You must have a endless pit of a stomach." I ain't got any choice. If I don't eat it all, she shouts at me. <laughs> no, I do not. Stop lying. But you did pick this meal today, didn't you? I'm going to struggle with this, Mazzy. Yeah, I think it's probably like for a family Oop. of three minimum, isn't it? it the is. perfect meal. If anyone wants to know how to make this, uh, go on our website. The recipe is on there. We haven't got a website, have we? No. No, we haven't got a no. website. <laughs> Basically... You go into a supermarket, you buy this, you buy that, you buy that, you put them all in the oven, the fryer, the thingy, and then you put mm. them on a table. Perfect. Alright, try it. Let us know what it's like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Is it? It's like the Dingle Special. Is it hot enough now? This is the best meal I've ever had in my life, Mazzy. I'm going to eat every bit of this. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy. Bit of garlic sauce on there. Oh, my goodness. In a in a design. Yeah. What's this? It's like a chilli garlic thing. Hot, chili sauce. Garlic? hot sauce. This is nothing like what I'm used to, Mazzy. I've run yeah. out of proper hot sauce. Right, shall I leave you get on no. and eat then? No, no? I'm, I'm not finished, Mazzy. Oh, OK. People want to see this. Just advice, I don't recommend cooking it in the plastic tray. <laughs> you put a massive dollop in one of these. It's going to be crunchy too with the nachos. Some of these, yeah. Uh huh. And then you grab it in the middle. You do know that's not how you make a wrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, <laughs> it's coming out of the side. Mazzy, it's lovely. Right, we're in Dingle, we've met me all. I've only ever met one more meal in my life. He was a really big guy. I worked with him in a factory and he stunk. Oh, that's not nice. This meal doesn't stink. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> meal is basically Michael in Irish. I've only just found that out. But uh, meal would like to say, somebody said, do you know the travel trolls are where you are at the moment? Go say hello. Who is it? It's Don O'Sullivan. Say to say hello. Hello, Don. Don O'Sullivan. <laughs> Hello! You should have come along yourself, buddy, but you didn't. Yeah, Michael's staying over there and he's made home too. It's not called Michael, it's called Meow. I can't say that word. Meow, think of a donkey, think of a donkey. Meow! Meow! Thanks very much. You're welcome. Good morning from Dingle. Good morning. Uh, first morning at Dingle. Yeah. After one night, we're going to be here tonight as well. We love the place, we love the place. I uh, just had to go back to the van to get the masks. Oh, we're never going to get used to that, are we? <laughs> well, to be honest, I'd left my mask on top of my wallet, knowing that I would not leave my mask then. Right. And you says, I know what we'll do, we'll put these masks here. I forgot the mask, so I just had to run back for them. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know, what's happening today, Mazzy? Just got to go into town, get some stuff po posted off. And actually, we've got a letter that we're posting today, aren't we? A letter? Uh, the guy that... Um, oh, Jeff Walker. Yeah. Yeah, he won the Travel Trolls uh, plaque. 
which we've had for months. I did tell him it'd be months before we could post it. That was during lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so we're going to get that off today to you, Jeff. Yeah. Kebabs. We do, Mazzy. We do kebabs. Oh, there Donna you go. Donna kebabs, vegetable kebabs, mixed kebabs, shish kebabs, chicken tikka kebabs. There you go. That's your treat tonight. What's in Liverpool? Oh yeah. Donna kebab. It's not open now, darling. Yeah, but I'm going to wait, Mazzy. I'm going to wait. What time does it open? <laughs> It's only like 10 in the morning, <laughs> half nine, come on. Jeff Walker, <laughs> you're not going to get your plaque. <laughs> we tried. There's no, no post going to Australia from Ireland. Yeah, that's Because strange, of the virus, yeah. that's incredible. Oh, well, never mind. We'll get it one day. <laughs> Let's go see how Mazzy the cow's doing. How's Mazzy the cow? Oh. Mazzy the cow, how's she doing? Don't be mean to me, why are you being mean to me today? I'm not being mean to you Mazzy. I'm not a cow, I'm, I'm Mazzy. I'm not talking to you, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking about Mazzy the cow Mazzy. Well there's no other Mazzy. Is yes there, there is. What? Somebody's named their cow after you. No way. Apparently it's one of three cows and they're all pregnant or something, they're about to have babies. And it's the most beautiful of the three cows, so they've named it after you. I'm staying. <laughs> How do you react to that one, eh? <laughs> and you've got, you've got cats. Do I take it as a compliment or not? I you've don't got, know. <laughs> you've got cats named after you, dogs named after you, yeah. now cows. And now I'm a cow. I'm a silly old cow, yeah. ain't I? <laughs> from America. <laughs> from America. Kirk and Teresa Blake from Iowa. Well, thank you, Kirk and Teresa. I'm, I'm sure deep down that's meant to be a compliment. I'll tell it? you what, I would be so <laughs> honoured if, if I had a cow named after me. Well, mm? a cat and a dog is something different, but a cow... You're going to be calling me a silly cow all day now, aren't you? There's no silly about this, Mazzy. This Mazzy, I mean. I'm not saying you're not silly. Oh, There's no silly about this silly cow. Because that ain't a silly cow. No! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.